Shante Kasato Bashande. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's adore his name. He's the king of all kings. He's the Lord of all lords. He's the omnipotent father. He's the I am that I am. He's the lily of the valley. Esha Toka Sante Bashada. Bless his name for the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. There's none like him. There's none like him. Abba Father will give you all the glory, the prince of peace, the <clears throat> Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi, omnipotent God, we adore you. Thank you for this month of March. Thank you, Jesus, for this 2024. It's been you from January to March. And we know it's going to be going to be you from March to December. Thank you, Jesus, for the things you do. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you for your guidance. Oh, Shateba, Sonto, Kashedeba, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Abba Father will bless you. You reign. You reign in our lives. You reign in our midst. You reign over our family. You reign over our health. You reign over our finances. We bless you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord from your heart. Let your heart magnify his name. Our Redeemer will bless you. We'll adore your name. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Because what the enemy meant for evil, you're turning around to favor us. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for constantly looking after us. For constantly making a way for us. For constantly redeeming us. Oh, kasate, bashando kasete. We bless you. We glorify you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Daddy will bless you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. God is good. You agree with me? God is good. This year has been a very rocky year for some people. It's been a good year for some people. You know, like for me, this year has been so rocky. I lost a friend of mine. I lost my grandmother. You know, <clears throat> So many things happening around us. But because I'm living, my family is living, I have you are here living, I have every reason to, to glorify God. So despite the tribulations around, despite what is happening all around, your mercy kept us. Ah, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We adore you, O oh Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon from here. Good afternoon. I'm so glad you're here today. It's our three days prayer and fasting. Guess what? God is here with us. God, one thing I like about the month of March is like the month is actually like a prayer. It's like an action, right? That March. And uh, March forward or March backwards, right? But for us as children of God, we know definitely that we're going to march forward. Because he has given us the right to do so. Because we have hope in him. Christ in me, the hope of glory. So because we have hope, we keep pressing forward. And I pray in the name of Jesus, as you continue to press forward, as you continue to press forward, you see God answering all, all your prayers. Lines will fall in pleasant places for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I think for this prayer and fasting is amen. Now when God gave me that topic, I'm like, amen, amen, yeah. Amen. What will I talk about? You know, but do you know one thing is that amen is so powerful. Many of us, we take it for granted. You know, uh, someone prays for us. We just say amen. Like we say it without no faith. Amen actually be, so shall it be. Oh, it's going to be well with you. So shall it be. It's like God just putting a stamp on that prayer. It's like God making that prayer request be a reality for you. So that's why amen is so important. Many of us, because we've been praying for things to happen, it hasn't happened yet. And it's like, it's not happening. 
we're beginning to lose our hope in God. But one thing I want to say to you, the goodness I have for you today is that so shall it be for you in Jesus name. Amen. This is your season. This is the season whereby God, we answer your prayers. This is the season whereby God, we turn around every difficulties. This is the season whereby God will change your name. This is the season whereby God will decorate your life in the name of Jesus. You've been praying for so long. I, I so much understand. You've been waiting for so much, for, for so long. I understand that. But God is saying, yes, I'm here. Your time is different from my time, but this is my time to favor you. This is my time to anoint you. This is my time to pour my breakthrough on you. Amen. So this more, this, we're going to be, pray, the, the topic before me today is it is real. God is real. Jesus is real. Oh yeah, I see people sharing testimonies, but I'm not, I'm not so sure. Maybe it just happens. Maybe it's just bound to happen. No. Prayers can turn things around. The scripture says with man, this might be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And the only means of communicating to God is prayer. <laughs> There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcut. We just got to talk to him. And as we're talking to him, he says, up till now, you haven't asked me for nothing. But whatever you ask in my name, I will do for you. And that's just, I, I think that's a way we're mixing it up. Many of us are not asking. Many of us are tired to ask. But God is saying, up till now, you haven't asked me for anything. Just so we're going to be asking God tonight, this afternoon. And I pray for sure. I pray that God would definitely answer all our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to be praying with Psalm 23. It's a very common Psalm. Everybody knows it. Some people even know it often. But the, the question, do you actually pray it? Do you make this scripture, do you bring it alive? Do you make it a reality? But we, that's what we're going to be doing now. Amen. Verse 1 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. And the, the thing is, the Lord is my shepherd. It's like you are proclaiming that. That, okay, I do not have the right to control myself anymore. I do not have the right to do the things I want to do. I do not have the right to obey my body anymore. But I start to obey an ayako, which is the Lord. I submit every authority I've got to God. That's just it. So we usually just focus focus on I lack nothing. But we, we're not focusing on what we got to do. Surrender to God. So we're going to pray. You're going to pray right now. I surrender all to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to your leadership. In the name of Jesus. God, I surrender. I now surrender myself to you. Be my shepherd. And let me be your sheep. In the name of Jesus, make it a reality. Declare it. Oh, my Kosoto Bashanta. Hey, Kasate Bashada. Daddy, I surrender all to you. Be my shepherd. In the name of Jesus, I'm ready to be your sheep. In the name of Jesus, I do not control myself anymore. I listen to you. Whatever you want me to do, I do. In the name of Jesus, give me that grace. Give me that grace. Oh, shato basante kashando kasete bashato kasata. Hey, mako soto ba. Lead me, oh Lord. And I, I, I will be a true follower. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing, right? So, it, so what God is saying, this scripture is just so real. It is real. If you allow him to be your shepherd, then you, you, there's no how you can lack anything. 
So you don't have to keep praying. I lack nothing. I lack nothing. No. What you, uh, you've got to focus on is what do I need to do to obey to God? Because he, is, he had already given us that open, open check. Because we are his children, right? He had already said, I'm going to be your boss. I'm going to be your leader. But it's up to you because I've given you free will, right? It's up to you to follow me. I'm not going to force you to follow me. I'm not going to force you to obey me. I'm not going to force you to listen to me. But I'm ready whenever you're ready. So you're going to say to God this moment, I'm ready, Lord, to be a true follower of yours. I'm ready to obey you. Declare to God, I surrender. My body will no longer control me. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God controls me from the inside out. That I am ready, I'm ready to be your sheep. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. There's a good news here because you've actually allow God. You've told him you're ready, right? You've allowed him to lead you. You're not allowing him to lead you. That means constantly, constantly, there's no day you will lack anything. Amen. That's the good news. When people are complaining of lack, it will not be your portion because you don't function under an ordinary authority anymore. You function in the divine and that's why you will never lack in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're still praying. It says, it makes me lie down in green pasture. How beautiful is that? Just because we're surrendering to God, it, 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 it brings us peace from the inside. It says, it leads me beside the quiet waters. You know, when, a, when, a, when water becomes so quiet, you know when you go to the beach, right? And you just want to lay down relax you know you, you, you that quietness of that of that environment brings inner peace and that's what god is saying to you because you've allowed me to be your leader you've allowed me to be your shepherd you experience peace on your inside the the peace will begin to flow from your inside out in the name of jesus over your finances peace over your health peace over your family peace over everything that concerns you peace in the name of jesus why not declare it Peace, peace, all around me, peace. Oh, Shato Casante Bashando, all around my household, peace. Oh, Kesete Bashanto, Kesete Bashanda, Kesete Bashato, peace, all around in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, God, God is so good. There's a scripture that just come to heart right now. In the book of Isaiah, it says, It says, My children are taught of the Lord, and great shall be their peace. It's just what this scripture is saying. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. When you're taught of the Lord, great shall always be your peace. You're not taught of this world. Because this world will tell you to, you know, to, to do it in a way that is so dodgy. But when it comes to God, it shows you the way that leads to salvation. The, 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 it shows you the way that leads to eternity, but the world will show you the way that leads to destruction. Amen. So, my children are taught of the Lord. You are a child of God, and grace shall be your peace. Peace. I pray for you today that over everything that concerns you, peace. In the name of Jesus, over your finances, peace. You know, when you have more than enough, there's no how. And when, when that source is from God, there's no how peace will be missing. I pray for you from the bottom of my heart that as you've surrendered all to God, as you've confessed God as your Lord and your personal Savior, as you've determined to obey Him on a daily basis, Peace shall not be found wanting in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It says it refreshes my soul. And it guides me along the right path. 
You know, people say, oh my God, it's so difficult to serve God because I just want to groove. I'm a beautiful girl. I just want to go to party. I just want to go to club. I just want to do what others are doing. Mm -mm. We can't do that. You can't eat your cake and have it at the same time, unfortunately. Right? So it's either you pick God and you just shun the other side. Oh no, I can't be there. This is where I stay. The Lord is my shepherd. I know who I belong to. I know who my God is. It can't be your God and you're prophesying the devil to be your God at the same time. What the devil brings is the opposite of peace. Which is hardship, nightmares, backwardness. But unfortunately, I've seen people don't, on Sunday that go to church, raise up all the hands, you know, and, and like, oh, yes, I belong to God. They want to get every blessing and just do what they're not meant to do. And God is saying, no way. It's not possible. I'm not a magician. It's either you're for me or you're, for, or you're against me. I pray that the grace to be for God is, is in us in the name of Jesus. Amen. It says, it will guide me along the right path. So what God is saying is, I understand that it's so difficult. It can be hard sometimes for you to, follow, to consistently follow me. Because why? As you're following me, you become knotted in hell and the devil begins to drag you towards him. The devil does not fight people on his side. He's looking for us. People that already shun him. He's, he's trying on daily basis to drag them. So that's why God is saying, no, 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 no. I'm going to help you. I'm going to support you. I'm going to guide you. Daily guide you on the right path. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, yeah, I'm not doing it because of you. I'm doing it for my name's sake. I'm doing it for my name's sake. Do you know that what that means? Because you are a child of God. You've got his DNA in, in you. You belong to him. When people see you, they see Jesus. When people see you, they see the mirror of Christ. So this is what he's saying. I'm going to make sure I support you in this journey. Why not say, Father, thank you for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this. Thank you because I know that I don't have to struggle up by myself. I don't have to be in my journey with you. My journey with you doesn't have to be difficult because I'm aware that you're helping me at all times. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. So shall it be. It is real. It is real. It is real. Amen. It says, it says, I will fear no evil for you are with me. And there's one person that struggles with fear. It's me. <laughs> I fear sometimes. I'll be like, oh my God, I'm alone. It's dark in the room. But God is saying to you, he's saying to us that you do not have to fear. You do not have to fear any evil because I'm always on your inside. I'm always with you. When I, because you're not, you are now listening to me. You are, you've, you, you are allowing me to lead you. So how can I leave you when I'm your shepherd? It is impossible. There's a connection, great connection between you and God. So he's saying, how can you be on my hand? How can you be right with me and evil will drag you? How can you be right with me and you will die suddenly? How can you be right with me and you will lack? How can you be right with me and you fear that there's, a, there's one evil in hell that can torment you? Any evil that got to torment you will need to torment me, God, first. And there's no evil that can torment God, so there's no evil that can torment you. So we've got to understand this, that there's a great power, there's a great force around us. When we say, for sure. The Lord is my shepherd. When we say for sure, not just with our lips, but from the bottom of my heart, you declare for sure. I listen to God. I obey God. I do not do things in my own understanding. I do not function on my own. I surrender everything to him. Then tell me the devil. 
Tell me the evil that will come near you. Because I'm a force behind you. I'm a force in front of you. I'm a force beside you. Amen. You know, we, we have to understand the power we carry as, a, as Christians. As a child of God, you have to understand that there's nothing ordinary about you. You are a force. That when you get to a place, every demon begins to run around. Because it's like, wow, she's here. We can't stand here. Like light and darkness cannot function together. When light enters a place, darkness disappears. And guess what? You are the light of God. You are that light we're talking about. Because what? The Lord is your shepherd. Amen. I don't know if I'm preaching. I don't know if you're praying. Because as you're praying, there's an amen. There's an amen. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Is it because you are with me? Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's what I see every time. I don't see tribulations around me. Mm -mm. If there's a casting down, for me, I'm going to say there's a lifting up. And let me tell you the secret. It's because the Lord is my shepherd. It's because I've made up my mind that I don't want to help myself anymore. I'm allowing God to help me. And that's why I don't function in, the, in this economy anymore. I function in the kingdom economy. Amen. He says he's going to prepare a table before you right in the presence of your enemies. You know, this scripture is not a prayer. It's just God telling us who you are. Who you can be if you allow me to lead you. He says I'm going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Oh, Mm. My enemies, I'm so scared of them because they mock me all the time. They have more than me. I can't even... You know, it's because... It's because you are not allowing God to shepherd you. But if you do, it's going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Why not just make that your reality right now? The Lord declare it with every power within you the lord prepares a table before me right in the presence of my enemies he anoints my head with oil and my cup begin to overflow in the name of jesus declare 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 my cup overflows oh shato basante kashando kasete declare declare we have time over bosoto basante basate he prepares a table before me right in the presence of my enemies come on let my head let my hand let the anointing of god begin to flow from my crown to my leg in the name of jesus there's an overflow and it says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life why not declare it? I don't know about you, but no evil is permitted to follow you. I declare it right now. No difficulty is permitted to follow you because you are a child of God, because you carry the power of God, because the Lord is your shepherd. Goodness, only goodness and mercy is permitted to follow you in the name of Jesus. Not just for today, but all the days of your lives. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for that grace to constantly do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. But eventually you're here, you haven't given your life to God. And you're thinking, oh, how can I, how can I actually surrender to him? How can I, how can he be my shepherd? Just say this prayer with me. Father, I thank you for your word. Have heard this afternoon. Thank you, Jesus, for speaking into my heart. I surrender myself to you. Be my God and my personal savior in the name of Jesus. If you said that prayer, all you need to do is so simple. Just look for a Christ-believing church and begin to serve God like it. And begin to walk with him. 
and every day you understand him better and better in Jesus name. I just want to pray for you that it's going to be well with you in the name of Jesus. Everything you lay your hands on, say, say amen. Everything you lay your hands on will prosper in the name of Jesus. You shall be the head and never be the tail in the name of Jesus. The anointing of God is upon you in the morning, is upon you at noon, is upon you at night because the anointing of today is not enough for tomorrow. I pray for daily anointing in the name of Jesus. You will not die but live to declare the glory of God. This month of March, begin to march forth. March into what God has prepared for you. March into fulfilling of destiny, fulfilling of purpose in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon. We're going to meet, meet tomorrow at the same time, 3 p.m. EST. God bless you. God loves you. Amen. Bye, everyone.